news and all the updates and the 411's unboxing. God bless you all. Make sure you guys give them a follow and a like. We live. So, Tevin Farmer successfully defends his IBF Super Featherweight World title against Northern Irishman James Tennyson. Um, I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I wanted James Tennyson to win that one. Brit bias and all that. But, you know what, Tevin Farmer did very, very well. Um, he was pretty much in control of the whole fight. Um, he was on the back foot for the whole fight, let's be real. Um, with a James Tennyson just coming forward, just being bullish forward, trying to catch... Ten Farmer with that one shot, but Ten Farmer is just very, very fast on his feet, very, very fast head movement, and of course, hand speed as well. Very, very difficult southpaw uh, uh, to deal with. Um, I think that uh, Ten Farmer was definitely the favourite going into this fight, no doubt about it, but it didn't go as long as what I was hoping for at a minimum, I have to be honest with you. Um, round number four, anyway, um, Ten Farmer cracks James Tennyson in the gut, he goes down. Um, he, he makes the count and just keeps on coming forward. But even though you could see, I mean, his whole body went red from the fact that, you know, it's pure shock. He had no air left in him. So he just couldn't recover from it. There's no doubt about it. Even the one minute interval just wasn't enough. But round number five, James Tennyson just kept coming forward. And he took another body shot with like a minute or so left to go, I think it was. He nearly went down. But just kind of like sucked it up and carried on coming forward. But ultimately, Tevin Farmer, he's been around the block several times now and knew exactly what to do and cracked him with a very powerful left. Again, back downstairs to the gut. Tennyson goes down. And as he goes down, he's kind of like stretches himself, his uh, stomach. And for me, I think the referee stopped it too soon. But ultimately, maybe not because I think Tevin Farmer would have probably dished out a bit more punishment on the body of James Tennyson and would have ended up stopping him anyway. So maybe just to save further punishment, I think the referee just put a bit of a halt to it. But for me, I think that um, they should have let him carry on just to see. But anyway, that is what it is. So Tevin Farmer successfully defends his newly crowned, of course, IBF World Super Featherweight title. And by the way, the clothes that he was wearing, the ring attire for the ring entrance, the shorts, I mean, who designed his outfit? I mean, has he got children? Did they do that? I mean, he looked like a character from down Sesame Street or something. He really did. Like, well, I thought like a Big Bird or Coco the Clown. Or maybe he wants to become the new replacement for Ronald McDonald. I don't know, but he looked absolutely ridiculous. I don't know who comes up with these ideas to just try and throw every colour under the rainbow on the kit. It, especially when you put in like Big Bird fluffy fluff kind of material on it as well. I mean... Maybe there's a reason behind it, I don't know, but pretty outrageous, got to say. Anyway, congratulations to Tevin Farmer. Um, hopefully a unification fight with Javonta Davis. Um, does Javonta Davis want it? Yeah, probably. Does Floyd Mayweather want it? Probably not. To be fair, I don't know what's going on with Floyd Mayweather. He just doesn't seem to want his fighters to be fighting. I just don't get it. But ultimately, hopefully, Tevin Farmer versus Javonta Davis for a unification at some point so congratulations to tevin farmer drop your thoughts below click that thumbs up and of course subscribe catch you all on the next video